joining me at amycommonsensesouthern.com. Have you been on Weight Watchers and you're craving pizza or are you looking for a low carb option for a pizza crust? I have the thing for you. To make the pizza, I need Joseph's Flax Oat Bran and Whole Wheat Lavash Bread. I need two kinds of cheese. You could use one if that's your preference. I have a low moisture part skin mozzarella cheese. I have an Asiago Parmesan Romano blend. I have a half a cup of the mozzarella and uh, one quarter cup of the blend. I have four basil leaves stacked. I have this Prego pizza sauce, and that is a one point sauce. There were so many choices at the store, but I chose one that to keep this in the points range that I wanted, had one point per quarter cup. And I have a pan lined with parchment paper and one piece of the Joseph's bread. To make this a little bit firmer in the final product, I need to stick this in the oven to a 450 degree preheated oven and I'll join you when it comes out. I've taken the lavash out of the oven and be really careful and don't touch the pan. It is really hot, so be really careful when you're doing this. So I have a quarter cup of sauce. I'm going to just put that on and spread it out evenly or as evenly as you can over the lavash bread. If you want to use a more than a quarter of a cup, that is perfectly fine. Just adjust your points and recipe builder accordingly. And it doesn't have to be perfectly over to the edge, just whatever suits you. Some people like the sauce all the way over to the edge. Some people like a little bit more of an edge showing. And then I'll put on my cheese. So I like to start with the mozzarella cheese and spread that again as evenly as you can. This does not have to be perfect. And go ahead and get that Parmesan Asiago Romano blend on there. Again, as evenly as you can. This does not have to be perfect. And the last thing I want to add, and you could put anything on here that you wanted to. You could put mushrooms, green peppers, onions. I would just be careful with putting a whole lot on to make this too heavy since lavash bread is thin. So this is great for those who want a thin and crispy crust. And I am rolling up four basil leaves and just giving that a little chop so that I get pretty little ribbons. You see those little ribbons unfold and you can put those all on top of your pizza. So just unfurl those little ribbons of basil. And this makes a beautiful topping. The pizza is ready to go back into the oven and I'll put it back in for five minutes. So the finished pizza is out of the oven and I think it looks absolutely delicious. I've made this before and it makes a great lunch or a dinner with a salad if you want a light lunch. So a quarter of this pizza in my recipe builder is three points. And if you ate half of it, of course, that's six. And if you have that available in your Weight Watchers budget for the day, then six points for half of a pizza is not bad. It makes a really thin and crispy crust pizza. So if you like a crispy crust pizza, if that's your thing, that's what you're a fan of, then this is absolutely perfect. So I encourage you to experiment with other toppings as well, like mushrooms or onions or black olives or whatever excites you on a pizza. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see more recipes like this, let me know in the comments below. Give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And I hope to see you soon at amycommonsenseother.com. Thank you.